Hello there, I've got another video tutorial coming at ya. Uh, this one's using the envelope punch board. We're going to use the bone folder from that. We're going to use some glue dots and some DSP. And that's about it. And we are going to use the DSP from the Occasions catalog, the Birthday Bash Specialty Designer Series paper. So this is the paper that we're going to use today. I've already cut a bunch out and done a bunch of the bows that I'm going to show you. They're envelope punch board bows. And I've done some, this is the, this is one of the double-sided pieces. This is one of the specialty pieces. It has the gold flecks in it on the confetti. And here are some of the other ones. This is the other specialty. Unfortunately, I didn't get a gold balloon in there, but um, it does have some gold balloons on there. So those are the two specialty pieces. And then the rest of them are double-sided pieces. And for these ones, I did the same DSP. And for these ones, I just flipped over the DSP. So it had a little bit different color in there tons of bows going on and I know we have the bow builder punch I know we have the bigs die for the for the bow as well but I wanted I thought this was a really cool idea to make a bow and I want to show you how, you do, how to do it so this is the envelope punch board and you are going to need a piece of DSP that's one inch by six inches you're going to need a piece of DSP that's one inch by three and a half inches and then you're going to need a little guy that's an inch by about a quarter inch. It doesn't have to be as, as, as exact on this one. You could go up to you know, a little bit thicker if you needed to. Uh, but that's for the end. With these guys we're going to do some punching. So with the long guy you want to go to the three mark. So you're going to put your piece of paper in and then you're going to put it over to the three inch mark here and you're going to punch. You're going to flip it over and do the same thing. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you want to see the end and I'm going to see if I can show you what I mean. So you've got your DSP on your board and what you want to do is you want to come in until you just see that piece of DSP. So I'm going to punch it right there. Okay. So I'm going to put this back down and you're going to do all four corners that way until you can just see the paper. And that piece is done. And then we're going to use the three and a half inch piece. And for this one, we're going to go in at one and three quarters, right here. And we're going to punch in the middle. And again, you're going to flip it and do the same thing. So one and three quarters and punch. And then I think this one might be easier to see where that one's a darker. You want to put your end in to get the divots on the bow. And you want to put it until it's flush and you want to make sure this hole is about center and punch your eyeball in this one about center and punch so we've got our two pieces everything's been punched we'll get the punch board out of the way we're going to use the bone folder that came with the board or you can use your other bone folder it's completely up to you and I think I'm going to do the coral uh, you're just going to give it a little curve on each end to make your bow. Okay, we're going to pull out our glue dots here. And you're going to put the glue dot on the side you do not want facing. So I want this pattern out. I'm going to put the glue dot on my blue and white side. So I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. And then I'm going to match these ends up. Okay. And then you can just fluff those up a bit if you like. And now, don't worry about the fact that there's some blue showing here because this is going to be the top of your bow, but you want a glue dot in the middle on the underside here where that other side of the paper is showing. Okay. I'm going to take my bottom piece I'm going to line that up and then I'm going to take my one inch by a quarter inch. I'm going to put a glue dot on one end. You can put one on both ends if you want to. <clears throat> I haven't had any couple part with just the one glue dot and this piece is going to go around the middle. So I'm going to fold my one end over and then the end with the glue dot. I'm going to fold over there. And then you can take a second and really fluff up your bow. And for this one, you could even put dazzling details on all those dots to make them stand out. But that is how you make a little bow. 
with the envelope punch board. You can use them on the fronts of cards, you can use them on packaging, on little 3x3 three three note cards, whatever you want to decorate them with, but easy peasy to make a quick little bow and a different size than the one from the bow builder and a different size than the one from the Big Shot die. So it gives you another option with the bow. Hope you like the tutorial. Happy stamping!